day we set off in search of Paquette's most secluded beach. Had Lamsin Beach, just north of Kamala Beach. We're on a mission to find a secret beach in Paquette. Just between Kamala Beach, just north of Kamala Beach. We'll go for a secret path, I say secret. A bit of a remote path to get there. We took the rocky path from Sarim Beach. A short 15 minute walk across a cliff top. A small price to pay for one of Paquette's most secluded beaches. And it's not all bad, the path offers some incredible views over the way. Alternatively to walking, there is a small boat ferry that will take you there and back for only 200 baht, which is just under 6 US dollars or £4.50 in English. So this is the only way to get here on foot, so it should be rather quiet and secluded. So if you want to try and find a secluded beach in Paquette, I think we may want to just found one for you. Just a short 30 minute drive from Paton, located in between Kamala and Turin beaches, this is the place to go. Absolutely phenomenal. You have the area like the entire beach to yourself, simply because the walk is a little bit treacherous getting here. Other than that, it's beautiful. It is phenomenal, absolutely breathtaking. You have near enough the beach to yourself. There's three or four people here. It's a short 15 minute walk from Surin Beach across some rocks and it's a different world. Stir-fried curry powdered chicken on Hadlamsin Beach, most secluded beach in Phuket. What a way to be spending your afternoon. This is probably the, the best place I've been in Thailand so far. Like in terms of exclusivity, to get to enjoy the vibrant nature just by itself without the interaction of many vendors on the popular tourist beaches and you get to really enjoy Thailand's actual beauty so I'd say this is definitely worth coming down here and doing we just had a lovely meal with our calf back there a nice big doobie at the end to finish it off we're going to pop back down to the beach and check that out again some rocks up the far end we ain't been the same yet let's see if there's a nice view from there on you do get a lot more people here as you can see yeah we are going to what it's gone 11 o'clock now sure yeah, it's gone 11 o'clock but we was down here about eight yeah it was actually yeah, yeah, yeah. bliss no boats yet no boats at all but here we are now for the people by the dozen now turning up apparently the boat stopped running at six so if you come here in the evenings, you want a nice chill evening in the beach. Yeah, I imagine it is or still nice quite nice there. Or a nice early morning, I would recommend. Yeah, a nice early morning down here doesn't sound too bad. Obscurity quiet paradise we turn up in the small is currently being invaded. Yeah. But, you know, we, we're raiders in the small so can't mind too much. It is what it is. Though. And then rocks over there look pretty quiet. We're going to go and have a look. Let's go do it. Let's go. So we're down here at the rocks now. Um, we're gonna climb across them. Oh, I'm bouldering. We aren't bouldering. I'm bouldering. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
for the view up here, man. It's beautiful. A bit of parasailing out there. Or parasailing. What a beautiful beach this is. There's even a few rocks here for you to climb over and explore the little crevices that they create for the little rock pools, They're full of crabs and full of life. This is just such an incredible experience. Nothing like you get home. Nothing at all like you get home. Beautiful country, man. He's over here doing a bit of fishing. Well, it's fishing for. Oh, he's out there scuba diving at the minute. Look like close to the rocks. Knocking it up. So there's a nice bit of snorkeling you can do. There's quite a few people snorkeling. <laughs> yeah, over there. over there, there's a couple of snorkeling. Yeah, there's a little spear there. There must be a lot of wildlife to see in this little patch here. Well, we can see the fish from the calf. Yeah, we can see the fish from the calf. See the fish in the water from the calf. It's quite good. Yeah, it's, it's quite quite enjoyable being able to watch the fish nibble away whilst you're having your lunch. It was quite an enjoyable moment. And the, the Catholics loved it. Oh, the food was great. The food was, the food was great. Amazing. It was amazing. The service was great. Had Lomes in Beach, and uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely worth coming if you're coming to Thailand. One of the best things I've done in Phuket so far. This in the Elephant Sanctuary yesterday. Yeah. Elephant Wildlife Sanctuary. What a place that was. Oh, a lovely couple of days, mate. Absolutely fucking happy days. This is what travelling's all about. Uh, you get these experiences you just can't get out and like, everywhere we've been the beach has been so busy especially now because it's high season and everyone's out over christmas because you've all got it off work Eey. yeah now that you've got it all away from your corporate offices you come out here to enjoy paradise for a couple of weeks yeah it's got rather busy but it is, it is just surreal for a londoner who's spent his entire life around tower blocks and concrete it just, oh, it's just a whole different world. Probably the best beach I've ever been to by a long stretch. I agree with that. I mean, Pig Island, just off coast of me, Co Madison, that does. That was up there. That was up there, and from National Marine Park as well. Wow. There was, that was some incredible views to that from National Marine Park. Oh, that was mind blowing. Uh, yeah, we've got New Year's Eve coming up soon, so we don't know what we're going to do for that. We're hoping to find some sort of local beach party or something and make our way down to one of these beautiful beaches that have here to party our way through the night. 